Hi, I'm Jill from Close to My Heart, and this is Art Booking Made Easy. Halloween is one of those fun-filled holidays that I like to scrapbook right away, and the art books in the art booking cartridge are the perfect way to document those memories. The art booking cartridge features two Halloween-themed mini book keys, specifically designed for capturing those memories in minutes. Let's take a look at some of the spooky mini works of art you can create. Here's the first album that I've created. Again, just using all the different elements that come on the two themed keys, you can see I've got all kinds of things, titles and embellishments and all things throughout this album. A few things I want to point out to you are here on this page, I've used a spiral shape that comes on the key. And you'll see I've used it throughout the book multiple times on different colored papers just to get a variety of looks. On this Halloween title, it cuts straight but I cut right between the O and the W so that I could arch it around my page. So that's an idea if you need a title or an image to bend. Here we've just added more things cut with the glitter paper and also added some really fun embellishments to the pages. Again, here you can see the use of the spiral in a different color added to this page here. Now with this page, I used the real dial size to shrink it down so that it was a fun interactive element on my page. I just simply cut it to a smaller size and then glued the gutters together so that it attached to my larger page. And here again is the spiral and some other fun embellishments that all coordinate so nicely with this mini album. Now I've cut a separate album that looks completely different from the first but again, using those same two keys. On this cover, I've cut twice out of Slate, twice out of Smoky Plum, and then once out of Gold Rush. And by sandwiching the Gold Rush together, then I was able to use the Slate and the Smoky Plum as accents. You can also see on the cover some fun embellishment techniques, like using washi tape as the hinge on the door. Now this little castle here, is actually from the scrapbooking key for the Halloween and I just shrunk it down to fit the page that I was creating. Now let me show you a fun way to do this uh, page of the book right here. I started with a smoky plum base and then added the black cardstock as the next layer. Then from the other three pieces that are all cut from the same shape I was able to take just elements out of these pages and put them on here as an accent. So you can see I've added the sweet leaf grass and I've used slate to make my uh, tombstones and even the gold rush to make the moon. So when that all comes together on one page you can see how much texture and dimension and color you get by layering your same cuts over and over. Now let's take a look at the next page. You can see we've got a spider web and some fun embellishments on these pages here. And then take a look at this spider web page. I want to show you where this bracket came from because it's not a specific shape, but it is built within that key. So on that page, I started again with a smoky plum base, my black spider web, and then I cut the bracket shape right out of this uh, gold rush piece and layered it on top of my page. So that's how we got that fun bracket embellishment. So you can even find things that are non-Halloween themed and pull them out of the same keys. Here we've got another fun layout within the book. And then let me show you how this jack-o'-lantern page comes together. I started with a creme brulee base. And then I cut both a black and a gold rush piece of the pumpkin face. And then when I make the shadow, I'm just going to offset the black from the gold rush. When I glue them together, I'm going to line up the creme brulee and the gold rush together and then trim off any of the black that comes through and then you'll have that shadowed look on your pumpkin. Now I want to reference you back to the first page of this album again. I had cut this castle from the Halloween scrapbook key on the cartridge, but I want to show you how you can use these shapes for many things beyond just the theme key. Here I've used that same castle, only using girl colors, to make a castle for my scrapbook page about a princess. So you can see that you can take the different elements, layer them in different ways, and get a totally different look. As you can see, the art booking cartridge makes it simple to create spooky mini books just like these for very little time. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and keep checking Jeanette Linton's blog to learn more about the art booking cartridge. 
If you would like to purchase the art booking cartridge for your own creative paper crafting, contact your Close to My Heart independent consultant or go to closetomyheart.com.